so many of the more than 200 people that we interviewed who were senior officials, former cabinet members, current aides, Republican confidants, so many of those people look back at the moments that they were a part of and privy to, and they say something similar, which is, he doesn't make decisions in a disciplined, careful way. This is a trajectory towards chaos in this presidency, and his rejection of information and expertise makes us fearful, makes us frightened for what will happen if he has to manage a real crisis. Is he ideological? Is he a populist nationalist? Or is he, as I believe you write in your book, a, a presidency of one, driven more by his own interests? You know, this question has come up about what motivates Donald Trump. And all politicians want to stay in power and nurture it and burnish their image. But many of the people who work directly at the shoulder of the president said it is, his, it is his divining rod. It is the thing he wakes up every morning thinking about. How am I going to win the day? How am I going to score in this public image way? And, it, and I'm not on one team or another. I'm not a partisan. I'm a journalist. But Phil and I found more and more often people saying, I worked for the guy. He would put himself before pretty much anything.